Hi everyone, my name is Gabriella and I'm coming live uh, from Sydney, Australia. And in this session, I'll be covering the awareness and the prevent prevention and also the unhealed causal emotions that drive the attraction, relationship attraction, the romance attraction, the sexual attraction of catfish and online dating romance scams. Thanks for viewing and I hope that you enjoyed the, the um, hi, hi out there. Thanks for the thumbs up. And I hope that you can um, have any comments or questions and be happy to assist you as much as I can. So with the uh, catfish, as maybe you do or don't know, I'm not sure. Uh, the catfish is the MTV series that started off um, a couple of years ago where it's usually um, in the age demographic of the youth. So late teens, young adults. Um, and it actually started off as a docu documentary of the founder now of the MTV series called Catfish. And there's also another series that he's moved on to. Uh, I think his first name is Neve. Um, and Catfish is um, an on where your identity has either been stolen online or and or your I, the identity has been made up. So you have an online identity that has been made up or that you've st actually stolen somebody else's identity and now portraying that you are this person when you're not. Um, it's a fake identity and um, and there is and there isn't a uh, there's an intention of um, that's driving this behavior where they don't want to be known of their real self, their real identity. And there's unhealed, you know, emotions that's driving the youth, you know, the young adult, the, the adult, the young adults that engage in this particular experience, attraction experience, both as the giver and the receiver. And it, it the experience becomes it has a wide scope of behavior um, becomes it becomes like a friendship it turns into romantic and sexual um, and there's a, a flavor of psychosocial sexual support and 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 sometimes in some cases it's also economic support um, it does vary from case to case, but there are similar traits and characteristics. And usually there is unhealed, almost in all cases there's unhealed, um, in some cases there's trauma or um, identity, uh, self-esteem, um, attached psychological uh, disorder that hasn't been recovered and healed and therefore it's driving the ongoing experience of catfish um, and in this particular uh, series they assist in resolving in the first step of the catfish continuing as an attraction and an experience and they do that by uncovering the real person and having a face-to-face experience uh face-to-face -face experience of if they want to continue then the relationship or not um <clears throat> especially when it comes to youth and young adults they're forming their uh their sexual identity and it's important to support them and provide awareness of this happening, uh, this experience happening because it does happen as part of our um, <clears throat> society now that we have access through technology 
and it's happening through, you know, because we have reached modernity, these experiences will continue to happen. And a lot of the attraction and the uh, romantic attractions do uh, take place on an online um, platform. So the important thing is to assist with the recovery of when this happens to youth and have an understanding that it is a, an experience that may not have, ha, have happened in our lifetime, but there's definitely a psychological and social and sexual recovery that takes place at the soul level of the youth and the uh, young adult that has experienced this or is both the giver or the receiver or in, in the interchange of this. And usually it's, un, it's, it's unresolved. Uh, tra it could be trauma or underdeveloped areas of social skills, communication skills or psychosocial relationship skills uh, and awareness at a level, level of development that have been stopped or arrested and it requires the support of adults to ensure that that child, that youth, young adult has been repassed on a healing recovering pathway. And that is clearly demonstrated in the series that's called Catfish, which is on the MTV channel, I think. Now I'll be talking, moving on to the uh, romance scams. And the romance scams are the online dating and romance scams. It does cover a, a age group of the demographic that is um, in a more mature age group that is usually 35 plus um, and covers greater a greater demographic age demographic of the 40s, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65 and onwards. Um, it does happen to you, you know, below the 35 age group and they're more fewer those cases than the cases that present in the uh, 40 plus 45 plus age group and this again has certain factors to do that we are living in a world of tech you know online technology where social interactions are uh, romance um, romance and dating interactions do take place through the forum of a you, you know, a um, online account, a social platform, online social platform. So it is, um, it is really good to know that there is a clear intent from the individuals that are the scammers. It is a worldwide $50 billion uh, crime syndicate. Uh, and there is the software is very sophisticated in tracking the scammer. The, uh, the software is valued at about $50,000 uh, where it, it has this, the software is constantly being uh, updated. And this is why the crimes unit cannot, you know, uh, you know, uh, bring a lot of these cases to to courts and, you know, basically catch the scammers because of the um, of the anonymity and also the online factor that takes place. And the syndicate is an international syndicate and it is also, um, you know, the use of technology that continues to update um, to prevent to knowing who it is and then catching them. So what are some of the indicators that you could be um, involved um, in a online or romance scam? And those indicators are, the, the major indicators when they start asking you for money. Um, and they will use a story, a, a story of they need money for a to come and see you or they need money for a child that is injured or you know requires medication or a family member or there's a bureaucratic fee to to pay 
in their country. So usually, you know, the scammer is definitely overseas. Um, obviously, there are, you know, dating scams that take place at a local level, you know, in a city level or a, 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 nation, a, a state or national level. Um, and the... Uh, the cycle of behaviour becomes almost addictive. Uh, this constant, this um, high feeling of um, that's attributed to the love addiction, the oxytocin, and the excitement, and also the adrenaline feeling of the seeing and having contact with this person again. There's feelings and emotions that are unhealed that come from providing the money. And um, that's another area to take a look at. Very um, key to these um, transactions at an emotional level being established. Uh, so there's one more indicator that I like to, uh, to identify and the unhealed causal emotion of having this um, loneliness that the, that the the professional or the uh, the thanks guys for the thumbs up the professional or the um, usually they they have a professional uh, status that they were well established um, individuals like I said they are from the usually from the 40 plus 50 plus age group uh, have a professional status um, have have been through a divorce or a, uh, a, a going through periods of taking care of now their aging parents. So there's been there's been um, periods of not being in a relationship. So there's been periods of maybe you know experiencing loneliness and not wanting to feel lonely anymore. And this is how that hook um, establishes this particular attraction as well. Um, so that's some, there's another unhealed causal emotion they can take a look at, and there's definitely support groups. They are psychological um, therapy interventions to heal that from your soul level and to also discover that you do have, you are a soul half, you do have a soulmate twin flame that is uniquely created for yourself. Um, So some of the uh, stats show a very high number of um, money that has been transacted, and that is the ACCC, which is the Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, has reported in 2014 that there has been up to $28 million that have been allocated and lost to dating and romance scams. So there's a very high amount of money that has been transacted overseas. And like I said before, it's a 50, I think it's 50 billion, 50, I'm just looking at my notes here, a $50 billion industry and it has $50,000 worth of sophisticated non-tracking software. So you can imagine that the um, police, uh, federal police and the, have a very, have, have a very big challenge on their on their hands to recover money and it is the key here is the prevention and um, education and awareness in society that needs to take place and the recovery and the healing is at the soul emotional level of why this attraction took place in the first place took yeah uh, in the in the soul level and there was three indicators that I um, provided for you to take a look at and that is taking a look at the um, feelings of emotional feelings of feeling um, lonely uh, taking a look at the the sort of status and the approval and the worthiness that you gain from the monetary transaction and also the um, the romantic hook. 
because they are scammers. They know their script. The romantic hook is that they have this ongoing cycle of the romantic love addiction and they hook you in and they promise you um, a long-term marriage and they lull you into this um, false um, sense of uh, commitment that is has no intention at all. Now, there have been cases that where I have seen that um, I, they do meet face to face and there have been marriages that uh, result from the um, attraction in, and the weddings do take place. And there is a percentage of that experience that could be and may be and definitely is attributed to uh, being scammed. Um, and, and this is where it's really important to take a look at those unhealed causal emotions that have driven that particular experience and attraction. So there are support groups. There is definitely psychologists and therapists and, uh, uh, and relationship therapists, you know, sex therapists that can assist with the intellectual process of identifying, you know, love and romance addiction and can assist the, the healing process at an emotional level, not only at an intellectual level and therefore can see a pathway of complete recovery and then the discovery of the soulmate twin flame attraction taking place. So this takes me to the end of this four part series. Um, and I'd like to thank everyone who has listened in. I will be editing the next for the week coming. At the moment, I will leave it as it is and I'll be doing the editing uh, further down the track. Um, I do have the birthday, soul birthday, happy soul incarnation day drafting at the moment. And um, I'll keep you up in the loop with the updates of that and its printing and publishing dates um, as it evolves. And I'd like to finish off by thanking everyone for viewing and for your thumbs ups and your love hearts and for your comments and also look forward to meeting with you and, and having a, a time to, um, um, to share um, further um, knowledge and, and, and uh, resources. So remember, um, this is a healing uh, and recovery path. It takes place at the emotional level. There's more than enough resources, um, both in the professional field, in the spiritual field, and also with um, your own self-help. Um, and in the, and this is just a brief description of what takes place in these experiences. It is definitely not the whole picture. And like I said, I have written a book and it, uh, to unpack everything, uh, the interdynamics of how these attractions work is, is more than an hour's dis, you know, uh, presentation. So thank you for listening. And uh, I'll see you next time on Facebook Live. Mm -hmm.